the Lanham comes in. He's got a haste rune on the ogre. And Spartan is now out of Scorched yeah, he Earth. He is super dead. He is in so deep. Another Penitence come out, uh, comes out from Garter, and this is going to end up being a feed, unfortunately. First Blood now goes the way of the Chen. You pick the Doom to shut down the Chen, and it swings the other way. Ehome now in a pretty comfortable position here as we get close to the five-minute mark. Yeah, Top. Storm is still looking very good mid. The Luna has the highest CS by quite a bit. That's Shadow the Demon. other thing. Ooh, he gets the deny. Very nice. Maybe they can kill old Eleven here. He's out of mana. No Carapace, oh. no stun. Starstorm comes. Arrow sidestepped by the bug. Thug now out of mana. Does not have a leap for 15. Sips that bottle, but I think this Nyx Assassin might be able to make it to a suicide. And he will. Oh, will he? Uh-oh. Doom on the way. He gets it with the Hadouken. Oh, Spartan. Very nice. <laughs> That's actually very big. That's that is... Doom back in the game for Ehome in this early game. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, and now he's found a Shadow Demon top. This could be a problem for maybe next time if this clap hits. Yeah, and he is again. actually super dead. Slows him down. These creeps yeah. do a lot of damage. He gets off the disruption. Luna gets a solo kill on Clockwork, by the way, as this is happening. Maybe next time pops out. They oh, chase nice the illusion. Play. Beautiful no, shoot. No, no. But there's still oh. a stun from Old Chick or uh, Old Eleven, rather. They, they almost didn't catch see Matter there. I think he was in the fog. That could have gone from uh, Spartan. Just a little detail. He saw the cast animation from Old Lanham begin on Ignite. So he knew he had uphill vision and immediately sentries that ward that was in the dire jungle. So he gets rid of that. Oh, Doom. Shadow. Oh, maybe Saving in trouble Spartan, here. As it looks. Down to about half HP. There's a rotation on the way from the backside, though. Skylark does not have hookshot. He's only level 4, but still has cogs. Level 2 battery assault initiates onto Garter. Locks him inside of the cogs. Lanham trying to zone out the rest of the team alongside Old Eleven. The channel falls solo to the clockwork, but now they're going to commit to this still on the Radiant Perspective. Old Eleven trying to make it out as the Ogre tries to split the other way. Dyer dropped down the ward to get a little bit of extra vision. Meanwhile, up top, Lanham will basically sacrifice himself to ensure the survival of the next. Meanwhile, though, on the other side, it's not even going to be successful. The Marana does get the kill. Old Chicken can't save him. It ends kind of disastrously for Ehome. It's another one of those long kind of spread out fights would add finum get the better of it just with a numbers advantage after the chen went down exactly they they have, i think maybe next time will be yeah the one pressured oh nice the disruption on the nyx yeah, but in comes the storm vortex it's there they've got the follow-up stun and shadow demon will die no Radiant's tp for you little shadow demon i don't think af grouped up is five they want this bottom tower doom not quite yet level six he's very close but this is sort of an awkward time Very to take good a fight century. when they don't oh, have nice this ultimate. Stun, Great stun from Old Eleven. Hook shot in from Skylark to try and break it up. But Luna comes around the backside and the Eclipse is doing so much damage. Ad Finum lose three to start the fight. And they are now in full retreat mode. It's not only a great defense from Ehome, but an amazing initiative as well. About 1,500 net worth exchange as Ehome pulls further into the... It's already been used, but Thug in the tree line has an arrow. We'll hold on to it for now. Skylark, no hook shot. It's still on cooldown. Clink's actually initiated on Ehome, retreating and actually doing decent damage as well. Old Eleven hit by the arrow, but he is invisible with Vendetta. They've got some AoE damage, but they won't have enough to bring him down. Old Chicken pops out of the disruption, trying to zip zap away, and he might just make it. The Infused Raindrop's doing a lot of work as now they turn on to Skylark on the far right. He'll get stunned into the tree line. They lose the Nyx Assassin. Ehome trying to minimize their losses here. Finally, Doom used on the Luna. They'll kill the Storm Spirit, and they will actually clean this up. Hookshot comes back for Skylark, and Ehome lose all of their cores. Yeah, nice. Nice by Adfinim. Um, and more than anything, just Adfinim's willingness to fight. They just lost a fight, and their tower is getting pushed, and they very quickly make the right read to go. Oh, old 11. Bold, that's bold pretty TP cocky. Here. His teammates pretty are not dead. nearby, and they just destroy him. <laughs> that was not... That was peculiar. I yeah. Mean, he didn't even... Still not a bad place for the Storm to be in, you know, 15 minutes in this game. Down bottom, could see a rotation, though, coming on to Lanham. Looks like Clink's already initiated. Skylark inbound, and this will just be a nice, easy kickoff. Clockwork getting credit for that one there with his rocket flare. Very nice. It isn't the most three heroes. And that makes them wonder, is it, like, is it actually worth going for the rotation? If he was a yeah. carry, you would not even think twice, you know, it's obviously worth it, but you're killing a 1400 net worth ogre. <laughs> oh yeah. well. And especially in a game, uh-oh, jungle here, Old Eleven gets scouted out, Sentry Ward comes down, he does get off the Spike Carapace, but now it's a three-on-one, it's way too much damage, and the Nyx Assassin will hand his life over at Finum, get another pick off Madara, getting credit for that. Getting pretty close to this desk. Really don't want to go for this guy, though. Oh, he broke the smoke, actually. 
The home kind Ballard of could survive. They circled it on the map, but now Ogre gets disrupted and Doom going in deep, not going to be able to find the Luna. Lanham, of course, will be brought down. As you mentioned, of all the heroes that get caught in a rotation like that, Ogre pretty much the ideal target. We'll move into the Roche pit, and I yeah, yeah, I'm getting a prediction another right. prediction. Yep. <laughs> Woohoo! Well done, we were wrong on the tower, though. It took 10 minutes for the first tower, actually. Surprising. Oh, shot, shot up top. Yep, on to old 11. Nyx Assassin in some trouble here. Blade Mail's come out. I don't think old 11 survives this one. Spike Carabas will not be enough to save him. Shadow Demon sets up the kill. Clockwork actually gets credit. Very nice. And they still finish off Roche. Or a blink. And he's not even close to either of those. The gold is still looking fine for Ehome, though. Uh, the Luna is still the big farmer. Ooh, uh, shot oh, again. That, oh, look 11, who they found. Speak of the devil. What Another do you know? Easy kill. There's the Spike Carapace. Follow-up stun on Clinks, but battery assault just too damn strong. Another one for Skylark here. Speak of the devil, Sin. It doesn't disrupt her, uh, or pardon me, a hero that wants a disruptor, so maybe some way that Adfinum can... Handle these fights. Doom did not go for the Midas. He actually went for the Blink Dagger, and he's going to put it to good use here as he catches the Storm, finds the initiation, hits him with the Infernal Blade, and there is nothing you can do if you're old chicken. Big kill. He loses Bloodstone Chargers there. Yep. Down to eight. We have that uh, Sentry Ward down. Old Eleven is being scouted out. Klinx has also picked up a BKB to go with that Aegis. Still on that 10-second charge. Hook Ooh, shot nice shot. Connects yes. on the Luna. She's level 15, trying to get off the Eclipse, but just can't do it. The battery assault is too much. And they find a freebie on Silar, looking for more. Madara actually pops the BKB and Snare goes right through it, but they still catch old 11 with the Infernal Blade, and it's enough damage. Spartan does find that kill. Two cores down on the side of Ehome. Ad Finum gearing up for a push from the Ogre. That's the end of the Aegis, but now maybe Ad Finum can turn the other way as he comes back. Lanum getting low. Madara comes back to life. Trying to find a target, he's trying to run for it, but it's just too much. Another multicast from the Ogre. Hadouken on Spartan does get the kill there as they trade one for one, but now the Aegis down, they have to retreat. Maybe next time gets left behind, and they'll lose the Shadow Demon on top of it. Ehome have a successful defense at the Tier 2. Get a couple of kills to boot. Do they find one more here? Spartan oh, in the tree line. Oh. Old Chicken walks by, but doesn't have the vision. Yes, Doom again! Oh, this moment. Yeah. A little bit of Didn't, fortune there. They, they buffed the lizard not that long ago, right? It's actually pretty good now, where it used to be the worst by far. I guess we'll hold that thought. Storm breaks the smoke, zips in, jumps the Shadow Demon, gets an easy pick off there. TP coming in from Doom, Madara inbound. They've got the Moonlight Shadow on, but Ehome just back up and reset things a little bit, happy with their pick off. I think they're going to keep pushing here, though. The, this this Luna is very strong, and they have the Chen Creeps to back it up. Tyler also and level good 16. Good vision in the area. Nice Thug. Manta. BKB comes off. He does get the Doom, but it's not going to be much. It'll cost him his life, and Luna will stay alive. Lana, meanwhile, isolated on the high ground inside of the Cogs. Old Chicken trying to keep him alive. He gets Skylark low, but the fourth stack to the low ground will ensure his survival. Luna does survive the duration of the Doom. Easy peasy. Ends up pretty well for e -Home. They don't lose a single hero. They kill the Doom, and now they know that big ultimate's on cooldown. Oh, Madara. Almost dies to the Clinks, but Madara will feed his life away to get off that one stray auto attack. It wasn't even enough for the kill, but the clockwork, he gets it. <laughs> a Lotus. Lotus. Okay. I don't not, actually really know what's good. that good here. Hook shot uh, comes in on the Nyx. Arrow actually gets sidestepped. Old Look who they found. Could still live here. Nope, not quite. <laughs> found the Nyx, boys. Oh, nice blink Wild from Doom, actually. Side. Not going to be enough to save him, though. Moonlight Shadow comes out, and he gets dropped. It's a one-for-one one, Nyx for Doom. Okay, now we home just continue the push. They're going to try to get this Tier 2, and it should be pretty easy. Glyph comes out straight away. Ad Finum looking like they want to mount a defense here, but it's going to be tough, especially with these Chen Creeps. We got that ancient black drag in there. Here we go. Old Chicken jumps in, destroys the Shadow Demon. Lucent Beam from Silar gives him that extra burst to make it a clean kill. Skylark with Cog. And he just lost his dragon to the Clink, so he has to get a new creep. I don't think he actually wanted that one, but oh, wait, uh, we should mention Storm got a Lincolns. Oh, he's yep. going to doom the Nyx here. And it's going to cost him his life, it looks like. They've got the detection. There's a Sentry Ward down. Doom falls. Now Madara comes in, pops the BKB. A lot of damage coming out from Silar. He's got the BKB on, but he'll actually fall in turn. Clinks with his BKB, survives through it. It's a one for two. Storm still zipping around. They'll catch maybe next time. He gets off the defensive disruption, but he will not survive the onslaught. Ends up being another good fight here for Ehome. Uh, I don't know if the Doom realized that Storm has the link to a full MKB before he can respond to that, and I think Luna will be just one step ahead on her build. 
Moonlight Shadow, initiation from Old Chicken going in onto the Shadow Demon. They'll find oh, good him with the Vortex. Beautiful arrow locks him down. Storm dies. Olana will also get left behind. Storm with a lot of Bloodstone charges will be up in just a couple of seconds here, but Ehome have to retreat here. I think they saw it right on the edge. So Ad Finum should good know hex this. Good pick up right now. They're Ehome do not themselves. know that this just happened. Oh no, Ad Finum in an awkward position here. Storm starts it off. They catch the Shadow Demon. He dies first. BKB from Madara mitigates some of this Eclipse damage, but Ehome get the opening that they needed, and now Madara is on the run. His BKB soon to expire. His team will leave him high and dry as he gets caught by a stun from the Ogre and chased down by the Storm. It's a two for nil. No buybacks available on the two down. And that means Roche will be a Veil Point Send. It's still not a staggering gold lead, but it feels like they're finally at a point where they just have the superior team fight. They're getting those big items that Ad Finum just can't quite deal with. And Up it's top, also about... Oh, Thug will get pick. caught. Yeah, that's a big pick off there. It's about the value of their gold, too. I mean, the graph is one thing, but it's about how much the heroes do with their gold. Something like that that could actually provide some value to the team, but... Yeah. All that aside, Tier 3 Tower in the mid lane goes down, Clinks gets initiated on, and Disruption will buy him a little bit of time, but it might not save their base. BKB gets popped as he comes out, hook shot in, Cogs help break up the fight. Oh, as really good setup. Doomed. This could be what Ad Finum were waiting for. They will almost <gasps> find the kill on the Luna, but the send back. Oh, Chen, the hero in this fight, now back to the fight. We'll see the counter initiation. Nice stun on two from the Nyx as Old Chicken jumps in and starts to clean it up. Madara and Spartan down. Skylark getting dove alongside maybe next time. They do not have any buybacks. And I think we might be moments from a GG call here. Thug with his BKB on will stand his ground just a little bit longer, but that is crippling. The Lunic isolated and then survives through it all. Beautifully done. And Nyx showing off that great counterplay that he has against Luna a or uh, against Marana X. Just blinks on her, pops Carapace, and she gets stunned by her auto Star Storm that you can't switch off. And ends up getting caught there by the storm. Yeah, nice game from Ehome. Um, I think not the.